With the stock market down, many investors are thinking about something called tax loss harvesting. And here to talk with us about that is Jay O, author of Maximize Your Medicare. Jay, welcome. Thanks for having me, Bob. So Jay, we always like talking about the intersection of financial planning and health insurance. Uh, there's an opportunity here because of this, uh, this tactic called tax loss harvesting. Well, as you said, Bob, it has been our common conversations we just combined these topics that seemed to be unrelated, yet are actually quite related. A topic that Maximize Your Medicare focuses in on, as well as the other types of conversations that we've had. And certainly with the worst start in 50 years, I want to say, for equity markets and with very little respite in the fixed income markets, what we have is possibilities to drive down taxable income in some form while persons try to reconfigure whether or not that they're taking the appropriate risk as a portfolio strategy. One of the good side effects, and I say that in air quotes, of course, is the fact that reducing your taxable income can also have the ripple effect of lowering health insurance premiums. So for example, those persons who are receiving the Affordable, the Affordable Care Act's APTC, which is the Advanced Premium Tax Credit, the reality is if you are lowering your taxable income, even this year, that will reduce your health insurance premium because at the end of the year, you will have a reconciliation process when you file your 2022 taxes. There are other situations, for example, Roth conversion. As you know, when people convert from into a Roth, you have to pay a tax upfront this year. Well, that number is now lower, possibly, as a result of the fact that the securities that you would be selling are now at a lower price and also fulfilling kind of your long-term financial planning goals. So while it is difficult and looks very difficult going forward with a lot of unknowns, that these types of planning features can make a big difference, especially in light of the fact that gasoline, $5 a gallon, which doesn't, which looks to continue unabated. Yeah. So one quick follow-up, Jay, is uh, obviously it might not help someone in the current tax year. Uh, but for folks who might be subject to paying the income-related monthly adjustment amount, uh, doing a tax loss harvesting now might help them reduce their potential IRMA in two years from now? IRMA, yes, although to a lower extent, you'll want to be have very careful look at the different brackets. There are six different categories of, of income, taxable income. And one last point, Bob, is that if, for example, persons have become unemployed or reduced hours, et cetera, to make you know, financial distress you know, heightened in this uncertain time, that if you're, for whatever reason, you can make adjustments for income, you can actually, and you receive the APTC, you can actually claim that adjustment this year, now. So if you know for sure that your taxable income is going to be lower, you can claim that today because the APTC is a pulled forward tax credit that you realize on a month to month basis. Hmm. Well, uh, Jay, as always, I want to thank you for sharing your knowledge and wisdom with our, our viewers and our readers. It's uh, greatly appreciated, as you well know. It's my privilege to be with you, Bob.